Jalen LeCue. You might have seen this guy on YouTube for his insane vertical leap and flashy dunks. But what happened to this guy? Jalen has had a very long and strange path to where he is now, so let's throw it all the way back to where things started. He was born in the Manhattan Hospital in New York and his family spent his first three years of his life there. But shortly after, the family then relocated to Tenick, New Jersey, just across the street from George Washington Bridge, which is his hometown. And from that point on, up until middle school, nothing really crazy happened. He spent most of his years as a kid and even as a middle schooler playing basketball in the relatively quiet part of North Jersey. But once he started getting up to high school, that's when things really started to change fast. Instead of attending his local high school, which would have been Tenick High School, LeCue actually decided to enroll at another superior program. This high school was known as Masignor Scanlon High School in the Bronx and it was known because of its superior basketball program. And there's no secret behind it, that's why he decided to go there because of their basketball program was at the top. And during the 2016 through 2017 season, he averaged right at 11 points per game. So that's not too bad for being a young kid. But around April in 2017, LeCue saw a breakout of success at the EYBL. And in the Elite Youth Basketball League, that's when he started to gain a lot of his Division I offers and looks. Jalen really started to blow up because he was putting up great numbers and just ridiculous dunks. And he was basically known for throwing down at least one windmill dunk each game. So when he was entering the 2017 through 2018 season, almost everyone knew about this guy. And right when things were looking like they were all planned and mapped out, he decided to make another change. He decided to transfer once again to a Christian school in Arden, North Carolina. And at the same time, keep this in mind, he reclassified from the 2018 to the 2019 class. The mood of that school had nothing to do with basketball. His parents and father just wanted him to be a better person as well. And Jalen even goes on to say, honestly, being down there has changed me personally, physically, mentally, and everything. And just to add to that, his father even goes on to state, he's doing other things beside basketball, understanding there's other things than just the city. His grades went up and he's matured. So before we go any farther in this video, it's just nice to see that this kid is very dedicated to school as well. So with Jalen making this huge move to another school, not only for basketball, but academics, he had to put on a show. And let me just tell you, he did just that. He averaged 20 points, nine rebounds, and nearly nine and a half assists per game. This kid basically averaged almost a triple double in high school. That's insane. And with the year coming to an end and going into the summer, things looked, once again, kind of normal. But Jalen and his family had other things to say about that. On July 30th in 2018, LeCue announced that he would transfer to Brewster Academy in New Hampshire for his senior season. And long story short, you know I do not have to talk about this guy's numbers. He put up great numbers once again. But since then, we really haven't heard much about this guy. So this is when the question comes into play. What really happened to Jalen LeCue? So let's fast forward all the way up to April 20th on 2019. That is the day when Jalen officially declared for the 2019 NBA Draft. And on May 29th in 2019, he remained in the draft past the withdrawal deadline. So if y'all do not know what that means, it basically means that you cannot play at the college level no more once you go past that deadline. He was actually one of the 77 total players that participated in the NBA Combine later that month. And he did something at the Combine that no one else did. He recorded a 43 inch max vertical leap. That was the highest at the Combine, and he left that Combine with positive feedback from a lot of NBA teams, so he kind of felt good about himself. With Jalen being roughly 6'4 and 190 pounds, he has a pretty solid build. But things didn't turn out the way Jalen LeCue thought they would. On June 20th, he did not hear his name called during the draft. But very shortly after that, he did sign a deal, and it was pretty big. On July 6th, he was signed to a four-year, two-year guaranteed deal by the Phoenix Suns. Then, on October 28th, LeCue was assigned to the Northern Arizona Suns for the start of the 2019 through 2020 NBA G League season. And then shortly after that, something strange even happened again. Jalen was later recalled to Phoenix on November 27th, like to play for the actual team, 
but I don't know if something fell through or something happened. Later that day, he was assigned back to Northern Arizona, so I don't know what went on, but that's just kind of fishy and weird to me. I tried looking into it, but I couldn't even find a legitimate reason as to why they caught him up for only like half a day. That's just strange to me. My only theory and the only thing I could assume is that somebody that was a role player on the team probably got hurt and they thought he was hurt bad, so they called him up, but then they realized the injury wasn't as bad as it seemed, so they called him back down. That's the only thing I could even think of. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. He probably wouldn't have been called up for long, but I just think that's kind of interesting. Even though Jalen's in the G League, I have a very strong feeling that he might get called up as soon as next year or even this year. So far in his G League season, he's getting buckets. He's averaging right at 14 points per game. And one thing I need to realize is that this kid's only 19. Also to add to his points, he's averaging nearly three rebounds and nearly three assists each and every night. And he has shown a lot of great signs of flashes and greatness on the court. He's had about four or five games this year where he's put up over 25 points. So he's showing that he can take over a game at the next level. And with Jalen LeCue only being 19, I only think he can get way better from here on out. But hey, that's just something we'll have to wait and see, and only time will tell. Jalen LeCue has had a very strange path to where he's at today. But there's one thing for sure. He's getting better each and every night, and he's still really young. So if I was you, I would definitely keep my eyes open for Jalen LeCue. But hey, man, with all this being said, that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you are new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot. Leave a like for more. Let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.